Oh, the quarterback Ooh. Oh. There was such a close score. Come on, guys. He's blocked well and tries oh, to my boys, come on. Hey, babe. Do uh. you remember that girl that used to be at my work? Uh-huh. She always wanted to be a manager. Uh-huh. You know, she was hot. She even tried to flirt with a box. Huh, yeah? She worked so hard, but she failed. Babe. I'm breaking up with you. What? Babe. You know, I, even though I love you so much, sometimes I just want to ignore you because you really annoy me. Go ahead and be my guest. <laughs> Well, hello everybody. I'm Liesl and this is Langmaster Learning System. Welcome to our series, Commonly Confused Words in English. In this episode, we're going to go over how to use although and though. Let's get started. Although and though both have the meaning in spite of. Pronunciation tip, although. The stress is on the second syllable, though, although, right, and though. Pay attention to both words having the mm sound, mm, though, although. Good job. Although and though both mean in spite of something. They are subordinating conjunctions. This means that the clause which they introduce is a subordinate clause, which needs a main clause to make it complete. For example, she walked home by herself, although she knew it was dangerous. The main clause and the subordinate clause. The main clause, she walked home by herself. The subordinate clause, although she knew it would be dangerous. I play the guitar well, though I have no particular talent for it. Main clause and subordinate clause. The main clause, I play the guitar well. The subordinate clause, though I have no particular talent for it. Though is more common than although in general and is much more common than although in speaking. For emphasis, we often use even with though, but not with although. For example, I'm still hungry even though I had a big lunch. A note, when the though or although clause comes before the main clause, we usually put a comma at the end of the clause. For example, even though I make a lot of money every month, I never seem to have any to spare. Although and though, the meaning but. When the although though clause comes after a main clause, it can also mean but. It is also true that. For example, we didn't make any profit, though nobody knows why. Liesl is coming to stay next month, although I'm not sure what day she is coming. Though, meaning however, especially in speaking, we can use though, but not although or even though, with a meaning similar to however. For example, you have four hours in the airport between flights. Jamie. I don't know, though. I have lots of work to do. I'll just bring my laptop with me. Well, that's all for today. <laughs> we hope you guys really, really enjoyed watching. And thank you so much. Did you enjoy it? If you did, then give us a big thumbs up. And subscribe to our channel to watch more videos. Also, 
If you're looking for a suitable English course, then leave your email address and your phone number in the comment box below. We look forward to hearing from you. For more information, check out the description box. Otherwise, it's bye for now. For me, Liesl, and Langmaster Learning Systems.